this is Tim from Morial TV and Morial Radio here with James Jacob Prash, live in England. Uh, Jacob, I had the opportunity to spend uh, some time with the Africans Children Cho Children's Choir, and I had a child pray for me, and the simplicity of the child's prayer touched my heart. Uh, us as educated uh, adults, and I'm looking in the mirror when I say that, do we lose that simplicity as we become more educated sometimes? You know, I know what you're describing, Tim. I've seen this in Africa, and I've certainly seen it in Asia <clears throat> with the prayers of the African children and also the Filipino children and so forth. Absolutely incredible to watch the simplicity, but real faith, real trust of their prayers. There are two things that are co-equally wrong and disturbing and even sometimes nauseating. We are never to lose our simple childlike faith. Never to lose our simple childlike faith. But Paul also said, when I was a child, I did the things of a child. What we are to lo lose, or let's say outgrow, is our simple childlike understanding. When you see people saved, 5, 10, 15, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70 years or more, and they never grow in their knowledge and understanding of the scriptures, of doctrine, of the things of God. There's something wrong with them spiritually. All they know is Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Well, for a little kid who's five or six, that's all they need to know. But when you've been saved five years, ten years, twenty years, and more, you need to know a lot more. There's something wrong with that person's relationship with the Lord when they stay like a child in terms of their understanding of the Lord through understanding his word. Conversely, however, as you rightly point out, knowledge can puff up. We can make things so over-sophisticated, forgetting that it always goes back to that simple childlike faith. If you are a parent and you have children and they grow up and they're in their 30s or whatever, or, or whatever, 40s or whatever, there's always going to be an element within you as a parent or a grandparent that's going to remember them as babies, as little kids. You're going to remember telling them bedtime stories of David and Goliath and Jesus and Lazarus before they went to sleep and saying prayers with them before they went to sleep taking them to church for the first time, taking them to Sunday school. You're always going to remember those things as a parent. It'll never go away. Well, it shouldn't go away from our relationship with the Lord either. It should always be there. But the fact of the matter is, your little boy or your little girl is now grown up and they have a little boy or a little girl of their own. You don't expect them to stay with the mentality of the little boy or the little girl. We hold the two in tension. Relationally, it's always childlike, always childlike. In terms of wisdom, understanding, knowledge, it should be growing into adulthood and beyond that. Quite a question, quite a situation. We need to hold the two in tension. Thank you for your question. My name is Jacob Prash. God bless. Blessings, dear friends. Greetings of Jesus. This is your friend Jacob Prash speaking to you at the moment from the UK. You know, so many of the questions we get in our Roku broadcast and on our Vimeo clips and on YouTube deal with subjects that we deal with much more extensively in our books. We can't, for the sake of brevity, uh, go into the kind of depth in a TV broadcast we can actually go into in a book. But so many of the questions come from material that are expounded in the books on a much more broader scale that it's almost frustrating sometimes that we can't spend hours and hours answering a, a, the questions that, that are given to us. Obviously, practicality dictates that's not a possibility. The books are there. They're available. They're available in print through the Moriel catalog on the Moriel website, moriel.org. But in this day of Kindle and electronic books, they're also available through Amazon and they're available through Kindle. Kindle. The three books that would be the most referred to in the questions we receive 
are the three latest books. The first being The Dilemma of Laodicea. The Dilemma of Laodicea is an exposition of the seven churches in Revelation, culminating with the final two churches, Philadelphia and Laodicea particularly, setting the stage for the return of Jesus. The Dilemma of Laodicea would be the first. The second would be Shadows of the Beast. Shadows of the Beast. How the coming Antichrist, how his identity will be revealed to the faithful church. The rapture will not happen, will not happen, absolutely not happen, until the faithful church knows who the ultimate beast of Revelation is. That is the Antichrist and also the false prophet. How the identity of the coming Antichrist will be revealed to the faithful church, Shadows of the Beast, the second book. And the final and latest one, Harpezo, Harpezo, what the scripture actually teaches about the rapture, the snatching away which takes place between the sixth and seventh seals in the book of Revelation. So these three books, Blum of Laodicea, Shadows of the Beast, and Harpezo, all available in the Morial catalog, all available through Amazon, and all easily available electronically by Kendall. Thank you so much, dear friends. God bless, and Jesus be with you.